Morning guys, Derek Moore at Henstinger Alpacas here with another little update. Some useful information for all you alpaca wannabes. Um, I'm just having a five minutes break. Uh, I've fed all the animals. Uh, as you can see, I've got my four boys here. And here they are, they're just, um, they're just having their breakfast, these four. Uh, these four uh, have been kept separate um, because they've, uh, they're new to the farm. So obviously what we have to do, we have to keep them separate just in case they're carrying any disease or illness, which of course we don't want to carry on and give to the rest of our herd. So they are quarantined. Uh, we start them off with uh, some good strong wormers like Cyadectin and um, we get that into them as soon as they come to the land and then they can shed any worms they've got in this little paddock. I've got them sectioned in, little small paddock here just behind me. Um, oh, I say small, it's probably an acre. And they're sitting there uh, for about six weeks uh, while I quarantine them and their bloods will be tested uh, for TB because alpacas unfortunately uh, can get TB like we can. Uh, so TB is a big thing uh, within the alpaca industry, or can be. Uh, we haven't got it in our area, so we're very lucky, um, but we don't want it. So that's why any animals that come new to the farm, we test them. And these guys' blood tests will be due back tomorrow. I'm 100% confident they're fine because I would have seen them coughing or splurting if there was any issues. They're nice and healthy. Uh, so there they are, they're just having their breakfast over my shoulder there. Um, now the rest of the girls and boys are all down in their pens having their breakfast. Now what I wanted to talk about today uh, was the difference between an alpaca and a llama. There we are. Biggest question asked that is, if you do a search on Google, what's the difference between an alpaca and a llama? Well, quite simply, an alpaca are kept for their fleece, for their wool. Their wool is hyperallergenic. Uh, there's no lanolin in, in their fleece, just like sheep. Um, uh, like sheep has got lanolin, sorry and also it's finer than cashmere. We get um, microns down as low as 13. And if you imagine a sheep as 35 to 50 microns, there we are at 13, incredibly fine. It was always known in the Incas as the fiber of the gods, and uh, it sure is. So that's the alpaca, they carry that beautiful fiber. And there's some other reasons why they've been farming them for 6,000 years, but that's another story. Uh, I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, now the llama, what's the llama kept for? Well, the llama's a bigger animal, stronger boned and bigger back. And of course, that's what they latched on to. And they're more like our donkey. We use our donkey for trekking in this country for carrying weights. Well, a llama can carry up to 25 kilos on his back. And the um, Incas would have used these to carry their goods and stuff. Sorry about that train going by. There it is, up on the hill there. And um, they would have used the uh, llamas to carry up to 25 kilos on their backs up through the mountains when they were doing their trekking. Uh, but of course the alpacas have got such fine little dainty legs, uh, they can't carry anything on their back. So that's the difference between an alpaca and a llama. There we are guys, uh, more fun facts over the next few days. Uh, keep safe, enjoy yourself, and hopefully it's gonna stop raining uh, a few more days to try and dry my land out because it's bloody wet at the moment. All the best, take care.